So today we'll look at vocabulary for crime, another common topic for the IELTS and TOEFL tests. We'll see 20 words and phrases which come from recognised word lists, the AWL, the AVL and the ACL. Then we'll actually see many, many more words and collocations as we journey through the words today. And as always, we'll see several mid-frequency words to help you really enrich your vocabulary. So let's go. The first words we'll see are crime, violent, and theft. So let's see these in an example sentence. Crimes can be classified into violent crime, which is based on the use of force or the threat of force, and property crime which involves the destruction or theft of property. So the first word there, crime, may be quite basic. I'm sure you know this word already. But there's several useful things we can study with this word. So crime is the noun. The adjective is criminal. Note the change in vowel sound from noun to adjective. Crime, criminal. Most words have two noun forms, one for the thing and one for the person. For crime, the person is actually the same as the adjective, criminal, which is quite unusual. I see a lot of students making mistakes with this. There are also some nice collocations with this word. Criminal offence. I'll put an asterisk there to indicate that that's in the academic collocation list. Criminal behaviour. Criminal activity. And criminal justice system. Offence is a word we'll come back to later. Let me define criminal justice system. So this is the system of law enforcement that's involved in catching, prosecuting, sentencing and punishing those who are suspected of criminal offences. There are actually some other nice words here and we'll come back to study those a bit later. So the verb which most often collocates with crime is commit, to commit a crime, also in the ACL. We also commit an offence. And something that students at school or university need to be aware of and try to avoid is committing plagiarism, which is essentially an academic offence. Be careful though if you're using the word behaviour or activity because the verb which most often collocates with those is engage in. Engage in criminal behaviour or engage in criminal activity. Engage in an activity again is in the ACL. Let's see that in a sentence. Children who have a parent who has been convicted of a crime are much more likely than other children to engage in antisocial or criminal behaviour. So let's get back on track and look now at violence. So this is an adjective. Common collocations are violent behaviour and violent crime. The noun form is violence. And there are a couple of collocations in the ACL for violence. Domestic violence, which means violent behaviour against another person living in the same house, usually a family member. And sexual violence. So to help us understand how to use this word, I'm going to use some concordances. The first one is Lex Tutor, so I'm going to put in the word violence, choose the British Academic Written English corpus, and let's look at words to the right of that word. These are the example sentences from the corpus. And we can see that most often that word is followed by against, violence against. If we look at the example sentences, we can see children a couple of times, violence against children staff a few times, wives a couple of times, and then violence against women many, many times. So sadly, violence against women is a common phenomenon and therefore a common collocation. We can also see here that violence and aggression is a common collocation. I want to switch to another concordance of the BNC, British National Corpus. Again, look for the word violence in an academic list, looking two words afterwards. Again, we can see that violence often goes with the preposition against, as well as the words women. We also see the preposition towards, violence towards, and fairly frequently the word aggression, violence and aggression. Concordance is a great tool, so if you're wondering yourself how to use words, I recommend using them to study vocabulary. So we can see that we often talk about violence against somebody, especially violence against women. Let's take a moment here to study another word which we just saw, aggression. This means violent action, although it could also mean unfriendly behaviour. So this word is not quite as strong as the word violence. The noun for the person is aggressor and the adjective is aggressive. Aggression is not in the academic word list, but it is in the academic vocabulary list. Aggression is number 760, so this is the more frequent form. Aggressor is number 2204. 
The AVL is a good list because it shows us words which are more common in academic writing than everyday writing. The word aggressive is probably not in the list because although it's common in academic writing, it's also very common in general writing. The adjective aggressive, just like criminal, collocates with the word behaviour, aggressive behaviour. So studying the words crime and violence has taken us on a little journey through some other vocabulary. Let's come back now to the third word there, theft. So this is the action or crime of stealing. So theft is actually a mid-frequency word. It's in 4K, in other words, the fourth most common 1,000 words in English. It's interesting actually that most types of crime are mid-frequency vocabulary. I'm going to include many examples here. These are not in our 20 words, but you might want to study some of these yourself later. So theft is about physical property. Other property crimes are burglary, vandalism, arson, and shoplifting. Shoplifting means stealing goods from a shop. And although that's the least frequent word, that's one I think might be useful to study because it's such a minor crime. The other ones are much more serious. Crimes related to money are fraud, money laundering, bribery, extortion, which again are all mid-frequency words. Two more modern crimes which I think are definitely worth studying are hacking, which means gaining unauthorized access to a computer system, and piracy. Piracy has two meanings. One is robbing ships at sea, which used to be very common hundreds of years ago and does still happen today. But the most common usage now relates to using or copying a book or a song or other materials which are protected by copyright. An example sentence, the past decade has seen a steep increase in hacking of email accounts, credit card fraud and identity theft. A useful phrase to study here, and this is in the academic collocation list, is intellectual property. Intellectual property theft involves robbing people or companies of their ideas, inventions and creative expressions, known as intellectual property. That's actually a quote from the FBI website, so please don't accuse me of intellectual property theft or committing plagiarism. Words related to physical violence are assault, rape, kidnapping and trafficking. It's interesting that assault and rape, which are terrible crimes, violence against women usually, are much more frequent than the other words. I put trafficking here because human trafficking is a common problem nowadays, although drug trafficking, which doesn't quite fit here, is probably more common. Since those are not our main 20 words, I'm not going to define them, but you might want to study some of these words yourself. So some more words and phrases now, high rates and correlated. Studies have shown that high rates of poverty are strongly correlated with teenage violence and aggression. So the phrase high rates is in the academic collocation list. It's usually followed by of, high rates of. That's a nice one to study because we can also use it with crime. High rate of crime or high crime rate. So correlated means to be related to or connected and it's usually used with the verb be and the preposition with, which we can see in the example there, are strongly correlated with. There are many collocations with this word in the ACL, be highly correlated with, negatively correlated, positively correlated, significantly correlated and strongly correlated. Strongly correlated is used in the example sentence. The stress for that word is on the first syllable, correlated. The noun form is correlation, and that's normally followed by the preposition between. And it's used with the same words, high correlation, negative correlation, positive, significant, strong correlation. The pronunciation, of course, is on the penultimate, the second to last syllable. That's a rule we saw in the last video. All words ending in Asian have the stress in the same place. Correlation. Let's change that example sentence so instead of the verb correlate, we have the noun correlation. Studies have shown that there is a strong correlation between high rates of poverty and teenage violence and aggression. So correlated with, correlation between. Let's go back to the definition we saw earlier about criminal justice system and study now the words enforcement, sentencing and offences. So the noun enforcement comes from the verb enforce, which means to make somebody obey a law or a rule. And this is a word that's in the academic word list, sublist 5. So the word enforcement often collocates with the word law, law enforcement. And we can also talk about a law enforcement agency, which most commonly means the police. Although it could also involve other agencies or bureaus such as the FBI. This video is sponsored by the FBI. No, just kidding. Another phrase to study here, public safety. 
Law enforcement agencies such as the police and the FBI are responsible for preventing crime and maintaining public safety. So public safety refers to the safety of the general public. This is not in the ACL, but the phrase personal safety, which means the safety of individuals, is. Next, the word offence, which essentially just means crime, although it can sometimes be a little less serious than crime. Note that in the US this is spelt with an S. This word has three common academic collocations, which are all in the ACL. Criminal offence, which we already saw. To commit an offence, which again we saw earlier. And serious offence. And the word sentence. Let's have a different example for this. The sentence for those who commit serious offences, such as drug trafficking, is life imprisonment. The sentence is an interesting word. It's not in any academic list. The thing is, it's very common for language use. We write using sentences, which make up paragraphs. But the meaning in relation to crime is very different. So this word can actually be both a noun and a verb. As a noun, it means the punishment someone receives if found guilty. As a verb, it means to state what the punishment will be. And it's normally followed by the preposition to. In the example there, it's used as a noun. Let's see it used as a verb instead. Those who commit serious offences, such as drug trafficking, can be sentenced to life in prison. Let's have another phrase now, public perception. Popular TV crime shows and repeated media coverage of crime may lead to inaccurate public perception of crime. So this phrase is in the ACL, so is the phrase media coverage, actually. This is a useful phrase because sometimes you might be asked about whether the crime rate is decreasing or what impact TV crime shows have on the general public. Generally, in most countries, the crime rate is decreasing, but people's perception of this is very much influenced by what they see on TV. Another word now, deter. Punishments such as life in prison or the death penalty are intended to deter people from committing crimes. So deter is a verb, this is a mid-frequency word, and it means to discourage somebody from doing something because of fear of the consequences. Like the word discourage, it's also followed by somebody from doing something. Deter somebody from doing something. As we can see in the example sentence there. Deter people from committing crimes. If you're adding ed or ing, you'll need double r. The noun form is deterrent, also with double r in the middle. Some nice collocations with this, although they're not in the ACL, are to act as a deterrent and effective deterrent. Let's change that sentence there a little to see these collocations in use. Punishments such as life in prison or the death penalty are intended to act as a deterrent. Or, although punishments such as life in prison or the death penalty are intended to deter people from committing crimes, some would question whether they really are effective deterrents. Next word is perpetrator. The police face major challenges since they have to deal with both the victims and the perpetrators of crime. So perpetrator is a mid-frequency word, but it's also in the academic vocabulary list and it means someone who commits a crime or a violent or harmful act. So it's a bit broader in meaning than the word criminal, since a harmful act may or may not be a crime. The next word, actually the final word, is exploit. Hackers often exploit human emotions such as greed and fear in order to commit crime. So exploit means to use something unfairly for your own advantage. Exploit is a verb, the noun is exploitation, and this is in the academic word list, sublist 8, although both exploit and exploitation are also in the AVL. Exploit is number 896, exploitation is a little less frequent, 1125. So that's 20 words and phrases for crime, although as promised at the beginning we did see many, many other words and collocations along the way. As always, it's good to categorise these words in some way, so I'm going to categorise them in terms of part of speech, verb, noun, or adjective and noun collocations, and also whether they are about committing crime, preventing crime, or whether they are just neutral words and phrases. So don't forget to check out the website eapfoundation.com forward slash enrich where you can find some really cool exercises using these words and some other resources as well. Finally, let's look at some outtakes. So there are a few other words and phrases I considered using. One is cybercrime, which is becoming increasingly common nowadays. 
Another word is illegal, which although it's in the academic word list, sublist 1, I think it's a word most students will already know. Another word is victim, which is an important word to know. If you have a criminal or a perpetrator, you also have a victim of crime. Again, though, I think this is a fairly common word that most students will know already. And another verb, violate, which is in the AWL, sublist 9.